Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is God of Rabbits. Today we're going to discuss how to get the Speed Climber achievement in Slay the Spire, which tasks you with completing a game in 20 minutes or less. This can be a somewhat daunting task for you if you don't have any experience going fast, but there are definitely a few tricks and card picks that can help you out on your way. Since Speed Climber is an introduction to Slay the Spire speedrunning, this video will also help you get your feet wet in that arena as well. Part of this guide was adapted from a speedrun guide, which I'll link in the video description below. The current world record speedrun in Slate is Fire is around 5 minutes, so a 20 minute finish is very achievable with some practice. The first thing we're going to discuss is how to set up the game for this achievement. In the settings menu, you want to make sure that fast mode is selected, which cuts down the animations in the game. When playing, you can end turns by pressing the E key, and bring up the map by pressing the M key. Getting used to these keyboard shortcuts will shave a few seconds off your run, though they aren't strictly necessary for a speed climber. Make sure your ascension level is set to zero as well. Let's talk about gameplay. You're going to want to use the Ironclad character for this run, as he's the character that's best equipped for speed play. Choose a starting gift from Mr. Space Whale, and you're off. Pathing is something you're not going to have a lot of time to select. You want to minimize the amount of fights you have, so picking routes with a healthy mix of question marks, bonfires, and shops is paramount. During a typical Slightest Fire run, you'll hit about 20 enemy encounters, including boss fights, so if you can manage fewer, you're doing great. Above all else, avoid elite fights, as they are both deadly and take longer than average to complete. To get a fast run in, sometimes you need to get a little lucky in pathing, so don't get too discouraged at the need to try a few times. Now, let's talk about card and relic selection. You're going to be making a glass cannon build, a deck that sacrifices defenses for a fast, hard-hitting offense. The number one card you're looking for is the uncommon card Whirlwind. Your winning run will likely have one or more copies in it. Other top tier picks include Offering, Flex, and Limit Break. The next tier of picks includes Inflame, Heavy Blade, Sword Boomerang, Battle Trance, and Spot Weakness. Other good but situational picks include Seeing Red, Thunderclap, Bludgeon, Double Tap, and Clash. In addition, you're going to be actively removing defend cards, down to zero. Since you have no significant defense, you'll need to hit a lot of bonfires to rest as you take damage. A lot of fights, especially early ones, can be completely ended in turn one with flex into whirlwind, which hopefully happens often for you. As far as relics, here are the ones you should be looking for most. Juzu beads eliminate enemy encounters and question mark rooms. Ice cream preserves energy between turns. Bag of marbles makes enemies vulnerable on turn one. Peace Pipe allows you the ability to remove curses and defense at bonfires. Lantern gives you one additional energy on turn one. And Jiria allows you to gain strength at rest sites. As far as boss relics, we want energy producing ones first, then others. For energy producers, prioritize them as Runic Dome, then Sozu, Ectoplasm, Cursed Key, Mark of Pain, Philosopher's Stone, and Velvet Choker. Avoid any relics that ask you to make extra choices in your play, such as Gambling Chip. You should be able to identify all relics by sight if possible for the fastest speed. Other than that, getting Speed Climber comes on mechanics and fast play. It's important to know each enemy and boss, and to be able to prioritize targets correctly. Your dream final boss is the Slug King himself, Time Eater. He's the fastest boss to dispatch, but his 12 card turnover mechanic definitely needs to be understood. If you hit Dono and Decca, prioritize Dono, the donut shaped bastard on the right first. You'll often beat the final boss with only a sliver of health left, so optimal play is important. So those are my tips for beating Slay the Spire fast and getting a speed climber achievement for yourself. If you want to go even faster, the speedrun.com leaderboards are your next stop on your road to glory. You'll find guides and world record videos there. If you enjoyed this content, I encourage you to like and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. This is Gutter Rabbits, thanks for watching and have a great day.